Hello, everybody. Welcome back to an episode of AutoCraft. My name is Zame, and we need to continue working on the base. In between episodes, I have actually gone ahead and gotten rid of the old little crop area because what I want to do is go around and put, you know, carrots on this one and then wheat on this platform. And maybe potatoes over here, just so it's kind of like a floating uh, crop field. And I kind of like kind of like the look of it. And we'll be getting lily pads from a nearby swamp to go around all of this so we don't have to hop over between them. And right now, I just have it connecting up the grass block so we can get some grass growing on this platform. Since we do not have silk touch and can't go out and grab all the grass. But what I also want to do is, while waiting for the grass to grow, and going to get lily pads in a bit, I want to work on a pathway that kind of leads to everyone else. And right now, I kind of just have to jump around a whole bunch, which is kind of annoying. Because there's a cave right there that leads directly to everyone else. So I want to have a pathway that at least gets to that cave and makes it a little easier for me and, you know, other people wanting to visit. Now that the path is done here, up until the cave, I do want to do something special or different with the cave, but I don't know if I have the materials to do it right now, because it, it does take a while, it would take a while to do it. Let's just go through this cave to show you where you come out. So the cave entrance is right there, and you come out to the main area. And I would like to use this cave because it, it's a pretty quick little deep cut through, but natural, so I don't have to do anything extra. But I'm not sure what I want to do with it. But before I work on the cave pathway, I noticed that all the grass blocks were put in, so I've gone ahead and planted everything. So I believe this is all wheat and that's corn. Yeah, so this is all wheat, that's corn. This will probably get expanded out a little bit, but I don't want to go too far because I have source of fish for food. It's pretty much an infinite source as long as I go away and come back. Like right now, that's a ton of fish. Free infinite food source. So after quite a long trip to, <laughs> to get to the nearest swamp, I got the lily pads and it took about, I think it actually took a stack of lily pads to fill this up. Maybe 62 or something like that. So good thing I got a lot when I did, because that would not have been fun to have to try to find it again and go back. I still have yet to figure out what to do with the cave yet. But for right now, I th we need to do something with these animals, because yes, this is sufficient, but does it look good? Uh, not really. And boy, oh boy, does that look so much better. It's a little big. Uh, I'll I'll just say that it, is, it might be a little big, but it is adding to the area quite nicely. So as you can tell, it's a it's in a barn style, and we got our pigs and the cows in here. I need to put water, but I just ran out of wood. Um, I do think I'll put some sort of mini dock back here, or at least another doorway, so it's a walkthrough. Because at the moment, you really can't go that way. So you have to go around the building and we'll have to do something with the ground here to give it a pathy feel and i have gone ahead and put in barrels for the food to breed with so wheat for the cows and carrots for the, the pigs and i think it is quite the addition to the starting area another addition to the starting area is how amazing this thing is looking i absolutely love it I kind of got carried away. I was just going to do a path and do a recording, but I got super carried away and just w started going off. I just, I built all over the place. I added, I had to get a moss block from Alex, so thank you, Alex, for giving me one moss block. And the way you, you get more moss blocks, because there are no lush caves yet, is by coming into a cave to make it uh, easier, and, you know, you just put it in, bone meal it, and now you have more moss blocks. And you can bone meal the whole thing, and it breaks with a fist. 
pretty easily. It's like I think it's like a leaf. So you get all this good stuff. And now you have moss blocks. And it even spawns the carpet. And that trick works on grass or I think any building material, really. Because I converted cobblestone, gravel, path block, and coarse dirt into moss blocks. And I just went all the way around here, convert it. I put a little bit more down, so the plant's down. I actually probably put that other one down. Uh, let's put that right there. Some moss blocks with some, uh, don't have any carpet. But then I came into the cave, and this is what I'm going to do with the cave. I'll have to add some stairs or slabs to get up these a lot more easily. But it looks so good. But now that everything looks really good, I just feel like there's something missing right here. And I feel like it, it's probably like some archway or something to let people know. You know, you find the path, you come out of the cave, and then what, you just keep following the path? I feel like there could be an archway or something like right here, maybe? Or some somewhere around here that will just add even more visual beauty, I guess, to the whole area. I just think it will look really, really well by putting some sort of archway in here. But before we continue working on the pathway, Boss is actually allowing anyone on the server to use his enchanting table as long as we pay one diamond. So I have my diamond, and I want to enchant this diamond pickaxe. So let's see what we get. Um, I might let's do that one. Okay, I didn't get anything. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll just unenchant it, and we will actually go to a skeleton grinder that I believe Game Greenie set up for everyone on the server. So we'll do it again. I'll get another diamond, and hopefully we have better odds. And back at boss's enchanting table, I got thirty levels. Oh, my diamond's in the inner chest. Let's go grab that. Put this diamond in there, and let's see what we get. All right, I'm breaking up bad. Efficiency two, not great. Okay, anything else? All right, all right, I'll take that. Unbreaking and soak touch. I will take that all day. Well, thanks to boss's enchanting table, I enchanted a second pickaxe and got fortune two efficiency four, which I immediately went mining with, and I got 40 diamonds. So, what do you do with 40 diamonds at the start of a game? You make armor and tools. So, I made a bunch of armor, got a bunch of levels, and upgraded everything with the enchanting table. So, protection 4 on almost all of my armor except my helmet, and I made a shovel with efficiency 4 on unbreaking 3. So, thank you very much, boss. I couldn't have gotten any of this without your enchanting table, even though it cost me a diamond a piece, a pop, to enchant these. It was well worth the price. Now the issue with all this, with all these armor and tool items is, oh, if I can walk, there we go, <laughs> is we don't have mending on anything, which is a problem because we can't repair any of these tools by just getting resources. So I think, oh, look at that, Splashes. I think Splashes has a shop in the shopping district that sells mending books. So why don't we head over there real quick? see what she's got and it looks like people have already decided where the main shopping district part is going to be it looks like it's going to be pretty close to where everyone is come in here five diamonds per book well i got my five diamonds so let's just snag the first one there we go and i don't have any more i only have two more diamonds like total that's it so uh, we're gonna have to be wise on which book we put this on so I think what I'm going to do is put it on my fortune pick. And the reason is because if this goes out, we lose any chance of getting more diamond, in essence, because you lose out on all of the fortune-ness of picking up diamonds. So I think that's a good idea to put it on the fortune pick first than anything else. But now that that little detour is over of getting all these diamonds and enchanting, 
I've come back to the pathway and I've kind of realized after talking to Boss and a couple other members that adding an archway in here wouldn't really work because it would cover up the pathway and it might make it look stunted. Like the pathway ends somewhere over like here or something. If there was an archway kind of where I wanted it, like right here. Or if I did have an archway, it would have to be way bigger than what is necessary for a three wide path. <laughs> so, since I don't think I'll be adding an archway, I think that will conclude today's episode. And we got quite a lot done, you know, getting all of the diamond armor and enchanted tools and building up a nice big barn, finishing up the crop fields or editing the crop fields really and having a nice place for the animals so with that i hope everyone has a splendid day stay happy stay healthy and see you all next time goodbye